Hey. All my friends out there. Let me turn this off. Hey, hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, man, what a ride I've been on. What a ride I've been on. It's been crazy. And I've learned so much in the last little bit. Uh, this, this is for all you workout guys out there. And for all of you that aren't working out. Look, I'm 62 years old. And I made the mistake. Six, seven. Because I've always had a good metabolism. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I know I'm probably not doing these right. Eighteen, eighteen. I want to share a little secret with you. All you guys over 45, and all you guys that are young, okay? You old guys, listen to me. I'm 62 years old. I've been... Uh, I have been gifted and blessed my whole life with a body that could respond pretty quick. I've never been more than maybe 10 or 15 pounds overweight. Um, but man, when I was overweight, I hated it. And when I was, when, when, you know, when I was like, I remember I went to a CrossFit gym once. I was doing the show, Whatever It Takes. And I was pushing these contestants really hard. And the guy that owned the place, I walked in there. He's like, hey, when you're ready to quit telling people what to do and come in here and listen to what you need to do, I'll get you some legs. He says, clearly you don't work them out. The only thing I ever worked out was my arms. So I just wanna share a couple things with you in this video. One's about your body and the other one, it'll change your life. Um, I, Ever since I was a kid, man, I was just kind of an athletic body. I could just get away with eating whatever I wanted. You know, I, I, I do a lot of stuff. I got high energy and I'd burn it off. Now I know some people don't have that. Like I got buddies of mine that are like, dude, my metabolism's low. If I eat a donut, you know, I put two pounds on. But all of you remember when you were young, if you were particularly growing up in the 50s and 60s, not so much maybe today, but if you were moving around, you'd burn it off. And that's what always happened for me. I've been I've tr traveled three million miles around the country. This is not about success or jets or any of that bullshit, but this is about your physical body. And look, I'm not, I'm not an athletic person. I'm not super strong. I'm not, I don't come in here and bench 175. I got, I think 50, about 50 pounds on that thing. I'm doing legs today. I do just, a lot of cardio and reps, but it's not about the aesthetics. And that's really what I want to tell you about today. Two things. One, the aesthetics, man, later when you get aesthetics are early when you're a kid and you're, you're young and you're trying to, you know, feel good about yourself and then get somebody, other people to think that you look good. The important thing is how your body feels. About 24 months ago, I could not, believe this or not, I could not do one push-up. I could not do one pull-up. Let me see what I got in me right now. Let's see. I couldn't do one pull-up. Not one. I could not finish one pull-up. 60, I was 60 years, 60 and a half years old. Could not do one of these, couldn't finish it. I don't know how many I got in me. I've already done like 19. Let me see what I got. Okay, that was 11. Had a couple more in me, but I don't want to waste your time because there's two things you got to know, man, I'm telling you. One's about money, but the other one's about energy. I've tried vitamins, B12. I mean, I, I've, you know, everything. Uh, I, I, I've tried it all. Like, I mean, I don't know if I've tried it all, but keto diet, protein diet, the vegan diet, uh, the cardio only, 
the 20 second, 10 second, whatever that is. I haven't tried the starvation thing in the morning till, till for the abstinence thing. I haven't tried that, but I've tried physical therapist, chiropractory, electricity, uh, acupuncture, uh, rolfing, massage three and four times a week. Shit, I was in Thailand. I, I'll bet you I was getting four hours of massage a day. Swear to God, it was the best massage I've ever had in my damn life. We went there, we had a whole place and uh, literally two masseuses for six people. And, and I said, well, when are they here? They're here all day from nine till 4.30 in the afternoon. Get it whenever you want. So none of that, the roughing, the massage, the electricity, the chiropractor, the adjustments, the PT, the, the, none of it, none of it fixed my body. One thing fixed my body. If, a, if there's a pain meter from zero to 100, I was in pain. My pain was like probably 76, 80% a day. Sometimes it would spike to 90. My lower back, my lower back was hurting um, 95% of the time. Today, 18 months later, dude, I can do, I can do 30 of those pull-ups. I can do 50, 60, probably 100 push-ups. Uh, I'm coming to the gym every day and I get some cardio in and I get some weight, weights in. My lower back, my lower back, and this is related to the second thing, my lower back never, ever hurts. Maybe I'll put a little menu together. If you guys want it, send it to, send me an email to, well, I'll, send, I'll give you a link for my menu. And I'm also going to give this other thing because when I was 45 years old, I was doing therapy some psycho babble bullshit. I was in, I was in San Diego, California, and they're like, your lower back pain, your lower back pain is because you have financial fear. And this is the second thing I want to tell you. I'm like, shit, I do. That's why my back hurts. I went out and stacked. I like, like literally, I just put all my attention on, I'm gonna get my goddamn money right. Can't fix my body, can't fix my back. I'm gonna stack millions of dollars. I'm gonna get residual income. I'm gonna get like 10 flows of income coming in. So if five of them get shut off, I got the other five and my back pain's gonna go away. And uh, I, started, I started learning about money when I was 45 years old when that, when that Dr. Voodoo, the psychiatrist said, hey, all your back pain is about financial insecurity. Like, I don't know, at the time I had, I had a little bit of money and I put my head down and I'm like, I'm going to learn the money game. I'm going to really learn the money game. Prior to that, all I was doing was working and earning money. And out of that, I've been working on this thing for 27 years. Is that right? 17 years, 17 years since 45. Making a bunch of, bunch of mistakes before that. I stumbled across... Four simple things that if every person knows these, I don't know if your back pain will go away. Mine did. But I guarantee you'll end up with a bunch of money. You'll end up with income. You'll end up with pay raises. You'll end up with the money that you keep earning more money. You'll learn how to get money that doesn't get taxed. Four simple things. And they don't teach it in school. They don't teach it at Harvard. Your mommy and daddy didn't know it. Because really, it's a new thing. It's something new that's happening right now. And I, I don't have, I'm going to spend a few more minutes talking to you, but I don't have, it'll take about an hour, maybe an hour and eight minutes for you to get through it one time. I mean, if you really want to learn, I'll give it to you for free. Uh, listen to it a second time. Watch it, watch it a third time. And I guarantee you, by the time you watch it three times, give me, give me one hour. If you don't like it, don't watch it a second time, but I guarantee you will. And watch it a second time and a third time and watch it rock your life. I don't know if, you, if your back pain will go away. I don't know if you'll get in the best shape of your life. I know right now I'm 62 years old. I'm in better shape today than when I was 26. Swear to you. Physically in better shape. Strength-wise better shape. <clears throat> energetically better shape. Uh, probably less chance of heart disease right now and cardio problems. Uh, you know, I just... I just you know, overall in better shape. My money, 
my money, the condition of my money, and by the way, just stacking up millions of dollars is not gonna make your financial fear go away. I had millions of dollars and the financial fear was still there. So if you guys think you're just gonna go out and save a bunch of dough, get a retirement account, pay your house off, the whole Dave Ramsey thing, uh, you're still gonna be scared shitless because that whole thing, that whole methodology is about something bad happening to you, okay? Save your money, save your money. Pay off all your loans. Never ever borrow money from anyone under any condition because all debt is bad debt. And what you need to do is you need a retirement account and you need annuities and you need insurance because you're gonna die. And you need to put your money at the bank and you need to give it to Fidelity and Wells Fargo and Bank of America and Goldman Sachs. So give it all to them, give it everything, give them, just save your damn money until you got enough money and you can die. Yeah, look, you'll be fucking terrified until you're 97 years old. I've seen so many people play the scared saving game. And I'm telling you from personal experience, I don't know if that caused my back pain. I have a feeling it was because I wasn't exercising, but I know that I was in terror. Even when I had millions of dollars in the bank, I was scared. So look, it's free. I can't do the workouts for you. You can do that but I can give you this. It's four, it's so simple. When you see it, you're like, dude, what have I been doing? No wonder, promise you, you and your wife, you and your husband are gonna sit down, you and your partner are gonna sit down and say, oh my God, no wonder we never have money. No wonder even when we get a bump, we still go backwards. No wonder there's nothing ever left over. Story of my life, story of my life. One person, if you're the one person that benefits from this, just let me know after you watch it. Write a review on it, share it with a friend. It's all I ask you to do. I promise you it's a game changer. I've done this, I've shared it with people at my, in my company. Dave Robart came to Las Vegas, never made more than 40 grand. He'll make 400 grand this year and he's got almost a million dollars in an account that will double and triple every five to seven years. Steve uh, Spray, Steve worked with me. Uh, came from Indiana. I don't even think he had a job. He was working on a farm. Steve's got six, seven hundred thousand dollars set aside now. Uh, he's adding a hundred to two hundred grand to it all the time, and he knows that money's going to multiply for him, even if he doesn't work for me. He makes big money today. Jared Grant. Jared's worth four or five million dollars. He's using the exact same system, the four simple things. <clears throat> and I got a bunch of other people that work around me. Have gone to my workshops, my seminars. People come pay pay me a lot of money. Like, I just finished doing a coaching call with a guy, $100,000 he's paying to help me grow his business. This thing, this thing, this one hour and eight minutes, I think it is, is a video training where I'm showing you exactly, one, what's in your way, and two, the four things you have to do. Move the one aside. If you're willing to move the one aside, I had to, you will have to. It's a new economy, new time. The banks don't pay anything. Okay, Wall Street is a casino that will bust you. It will bust your ass. It's going to give you some wins. It's going to give you some losses, and it's going to keep jerking you off. And it's going to keep you in fear, too, by the way. That's a fear game right there. Am I going to win or am I going to lose? The game I'm going to share with you is a win-win. They ain't no losing. I know there's no such thing as too good to be true. Guarantee you these four things. Do them. Your life will be changed financially forever. Now, back to the workouts. This is what I do every day. I'll give it to you right now. First of all, the trainer said, don't come in here every day. I said, yeah, I've heard that bullshit. Every day, every day, at least 30 minutes. Okay, you don't need a gym like this. I'm in a gym. This place is freaking phenomenal. You don't have to have a gym this big. This was, they're letting me use this where I'm at right now. Come in here. Every day, 30 minutes, 20 minutes on one of these bikes, okay? 20 seconds, everything you got, 10 seconds off. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. 20 seconds on, do that to warm up. Do that for five minutes, and then just ride it for another five minutes. That's 10 minutes of that. And then I want you to work a different body part for the next 20 minutes. You could do legs, one day, arms the next day, shoulder the next day, back the next day. Like this ain't an Arnold program, okay? Every day though, 
Do not take one day off for the first 30 days and watch what happens to you. Don't change your eating habits, just keep eating shit. Eat donuts, throw a couple honey buns on top. Okay, eat all the shit you want. Worry about that later, okay? Just get your ass into the gym, okay? Watch my damn little thing every time you come in. If you can do an hour, do an hour, but just give yourself 30 minutes, 30 minutes, okay? 10 minutes on the bike, 20 minutes uh, on one body part, okay? And just, just blood it up. Just get as much blood as you can go in there. Don't worry about the weight. Go as light as you need to, add weight later. Okay, if you're doing chest, get some push-ups in. You don't have to just do a bench. Also, no excuses, man. No matter what, no matter how you're feeling, no matter, no matter, no matter. Just 30 days. Give me 30 days in the hole. No tricks, no gimmicks, no diet. Let me see where I'm at right now. See, I just hit 63 minutes right there. Okay, and then at the end, when you're done with your 30 minutes or your 60 minutes, if you press it, give me three sets, three sets. Ryan Secco taught me this. By the way, Ryan Secco's on the same system. I wanna give you, he's got a, a million and a half put away already. Just give me these. Give me as many of these you can get five times, okay? You wanna do something fancy later on? You can start doing some bullshit. You wanna do some fancy stuff, good for you, but whatever. You get the point? I dare you to take on the challenge. Take out the workout challenge, <coughs> okay? Shoulders, arms, chest, legs. Uh, what else is there? Uh, back, did I say back? Curls, push-ups. Get your push-ups in. Just blow it out, man. Without going heavy, don't hurt yourself, no matter what. Just lighten up the load. 30 days, 30 minutes. Do what you can. If you need to get a trainer, go get one. Hey, if your body's got energy and you're not in pain, you're not hurting yourself every day, you feel good, you feel a little better about yourself, and then every day you're working on your money, how do I get it? How do I get more? How do I keep it? Without terrifying myself for, how do I get that shit to work for me? One thing about money, money. Money can do work you can't do. Okay, your body, you're the only one that can do that. You can pay as much money as you want. Ain't nobody can do these push-ups for me. I gotta do them. The money, if I got money, I got money working harder for me today than I could ever work. Fuck, I got money working for me today. Fuck does, does the work of a hundred grants. And fuck, I work pretty hard. 10X income system, grab it. They'll add a link somewhere below. I can't do your push-ups. I can't do your workouts. And I can't make you watch it. But I can guarantee you if you do, get your spouse on the same page, get your kids to watch it. It's free. Okay. I guarantee you'll change your life. Take advantage of it. Just write a review, share it with a friend. I don't want anything else.